All right, Ian, I just thought I'd give another video response again because uh, obviously because I talk too much and it takes me ages typing. But the other thing is as well, I'm just setting up uh, a system here. So it's actually a bit of exercise for me to set up. I might actually, uh, I might send you a link later on if I get the video sorted. It's one of my personal ones. What it is, I'm going to be doing some stuff in this room for a while. So I'm trying to set up an optimum kind of like microphone system. So I'm, using, I'm, I'm testing like three or four mics like one coming in from below and like then coming in from the top and all the rest of it just to see which one's going to work for me for doing like uh, me pieces to camera or me VO stuff or anything where I'm looking at a screen and doing a screen grab and stuff. Yeah, so basically I'm kind of doubling this response up to you as another way of kind of like testing this system that I'm doing. Um, yeah, I've been at it all day. In fact, I'm in, I'm in me onesie. <laughs> I didn't even get changed because um, I've just been doing this all day and, and getting all my tech stuff uh, nailed and also doing a load of data backing up and whatnot. Anyway, yeah, this thing with the the, the years and stuff, I appreciate what you're saying that um, there's other cameras out there where they, they do these odd frame rates and whatnot. But, you know, ye are trying to purport themselves as being like, you know, the major competitor, as it were, to GoPro and also being professional as well. Um, there's absolutely no excuse for what's going on with them two issues that I found in their cameras. The the 4K Plus with that limited uh, limited bandwidth uh, due to a limited bit rate is absolutely insane, especially for their flagship product. And then also when you actually compound that with the fact that the Yi Light records at 128 kilobits, which is almost three times more than the 48 kilobits that the uh, the 4K Plus is recording. That. Now that is that in, within itself is just mental. That that's crazy having your flagship product have a worse audio subsystem than the cheapest one in that particular range. And then when you go to the cheapest one, unfortunately, it gets bad with that because of these, you know, the, the, these off format uh, frame rates. And, you know, the, the, there's a reason why some people may be missing these is because a lot of people are going to do like single clip stuff and upload them to YouTube, much, much in the way that I'm going to do with this clip. Now, if that's the case, you wouldn't notice whether or not you, your frame rate had drifted or gone out or was below or above the uh, the time base that it should be. Um, but in the instances where you've got to do editing, some people don't notice that sometimes either because on some of the cheaper uh, editing programs, in fact, I think some of them free ones or some of the really cheap ones, the way that they work, they sometimes don't stick to a, a time base. They just stitch the files together and things like that. Um, you know, if they don't have to do a render for like any kind of uh, dissolves and stuff, and the thing again with that, that ve that what what will happen? That frame rate will change at each cut. So again, people may not notice that, especially if they just put it straight up to YouTube and whatnot, and like letting a, a you know a portable device kind of like decode the picture. Even a TV will probably sync to most of that stuff within the picture. Um, but for ye though, I'm sorry, it's just insane. And the, the, the thing that I, I really can't get me up behind is how people are not bringing this up. These are two massive, massive, huge problems. Um, and ye are doing the very best to ignore the things that I'm sending them as well. They won't respond to them. Um, I mean, I suppose in part to that is because if they responded in the way that they should do, because I've obviously done like empirical testing there to prove that these two things exist. If they were to admit it then, they're admitting that there's a there's a manufacturing fault with the you know with the products, so maybe that's the reason why they won't address them scenarios or them you know the, them problems that have, have brought up. Um, but it does leave me in that weirdo position of what what am I gonna do? Because now the Yi Light is gonna have to go back as well. Because as much as what I'd like to have kept it, because it only costs fifty pound, and it's and it's external sorry it's internal uh, audio system is not that bad. You know, there's going to be another video that I'm going to put up where you'll have a listen and you'll probably go, yeah, that's all right, that, you know, especially for 50 quid. The problem is I cannot mix that with other footage that I use because what will happen if I use, say, another camera that's shooting at 25 frames a second and that Yi is doing like a B-roll or something like that. The problem is, as you've seen in the video that I've done, I, re I kind of reforce the frames per second to match the timeline. The only problem with that is 
it does speed the clip up slightly. Well, that's that progression in speed will get will make the clip get shorter and shorter as it goes through the timeline. So the problem is, if you take a clip that was say 24.98 and then a 25 per second, you know, sorry, frames per second clip, if you put them in the timeline, correct one, so it feeds out its frames at the right time. What will happen over a period of time? It'll go out of sync. <clears throat> So that's another reason why it won't work for me at all. Um, but yeah, you know, this other camcorder that you're talking about as well, if you could do us a favour and give us a link to that, that'd be great. Anyway, yeah, I'll keep this short now because I'll just ramble on and on and on because I don't know when to stop. Although what I'm actually thinking about doing, because of these video, this would be the second video response that I've done uh, with some of your stuff that you've been talking about. I'm actually thinking about because I've got I've got some other YouTube channels where I do test stuff and that. I'm actually thinking about actually setting one of them up just as like a, a vlog thing or even to put these things on, you know, just in case some of them might be of interest to people. Um, because I, I don't I don't normally do this thing where I just sit in front of the uh, you know the camera and do this because I suppose this is vlogging. Um, but maybe I might set up one of the other channels to do that anyway. And what I'll do also, I'll um, I'll try and leave you a link as soon as I get this other thing done. If you can, you know, if you wouldn't mind having a listen to the options I've got for doing me dialogue in this room and stuff. Anyway, buddy, I'll split now and stop talking. But uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon. Take care, man. Bye bye.